Hi, I'm Charles, one of the client services team, and I'm going to run you through a quick introduction to charting on the CMC platform. As you can see here, I've got open a 10 minutes, two day chart looking at the US 30 cash. Up here, you can change the time frame and intervals of the chart. So let's zoom in to a one day chart and you can see the intervals have reduced to five minutes. You can also scroll on the mouse wheel to increase or decrease the time frame like so. If you plan on using a number of different intervals or time frames, you can favorite them by clicking on this star. You'll see them appear as quick links on the top menu so you can apply them quickly in the future. To view the chart in multiple time frames, click here and select the layout you want to see. Select any of the individual time frames to adjust the time frame and interval like before. You can add another instrument to the same chart to compare by dragging and dropping from a product or watch list. You remove it by clicking the X here. Now let's have a look at our technical analysis tools. Here at the bottom of the chart, you'll notice favorites, draw tools, technical, and patterns. In favorites, you can add your most commonly used indicators to make them easier to access. We've pre-populated some of the most popular ones already. You can remove them by clicking on the star in the top right hand corner like this. You can add favorites by finding them in the relevant menu and clicking on the same star in the top right like so. You can see the SMA has now been added to my favorites. Draw tools is where you can find popular drawing tools like trend lines and support and resistance. To add a drawing tool to your chart, simply click on the name and then navigate to where you want to set the level on the chart and click. To remove, simply click on the line and select the bin icon. Our platform has over 115 indicators, including some of the most popular, like moving averages, Bollinger Bands, MACD, and RSI. You can navigate between the overlays and studies here, or simply search for what you're looking for. The same is the case for patterns. Once you've finished customizing your chart, you can save this as a template to use again in the future. Simply click on templates and save it by either selecting default template if you want to always use this layout or by clicking the save icon next to one of the template names below. You can save up to 10 templates which can be renamed using the edit templates button at the bottom. Templates can be applied to any instruments you view on a chart. Now you have a save template, you can apply it to any other chart. So let's open up another chart, click on templates, and you can see our save template is there. And when we click, the same tools and layouts are applied. Finally, I want to show you how to trade from a chart. There's two options here. The first is simply to click on the buy or sell price in the top right hand corner to open up an order ticket. The second is to trade directly from the chart. To do that, click on the menu and select trade from chart to attach an order ticket to the chart. The key difference here from a standard order ticket is that you can use the chart to adjust your take profit and stop loss levels, like so. You can also use the chart to set a limit order. So that's everything I'm going to show you today, but if you've got any other questions or need further help, feel free to get in touch with us using the live help section on the left hand side of the platform.